Hi, this is Linda. Welcome to my channel another time. And uh, I'm just out here with the kitties. I don't know. No time where it goes. There is little chip. Driving through days and nights. Anyway. So Won't come join me on our adventure today. Lights. Today I'm going to be doing a dry pour concrete slab right where I'm standing. Really know, really and as long as I keep the dogs out, it'll turn out perfect. Because I like things to turn out perfect. And um, just mainly trying to keep the dogs out. We've already done two other dry pours on my channel. Uh, we did a dry pour patio slab and then we did one for our storm shelter. So this one is going to be for the cabin, and we just figured it would be the easiest way to keep water from going into the cabin. Okay, my assistants are going to be Aslan. Can you say hi, Azzy? Hi. Hi. <laughs> and Lucy Lou, our Great Pyrenees. She's walking away. She doesn't like seeing the limelight. Even though I've made a ton of videos Trusting about her. Our wings to fly. Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down So if you're not familiar with dry pour concrete, what we have done here is we have built a frame, um, poured in the concrete, however many bags it takes to get to the top of the form, and then we're going to screed it and take a trowel along the edges and um, spray it with water. It's a corner edger. I've done several of these concrete slabs and have other videos that demonstrate this, so if you're interested, go check them out. I didn't show um, when we were rolling it with the paint roller or when we were screeding it with the 2x4, so be sure that you do that first. You're going to screed it and then roll it. And then you're going to take the corner trim that I'm using here and um, go along the edges. It separates it from the board 
makes a round edge and then it makes it look finished. Now I'm just spraying it with a mister. Um, I have it on the mist setting and um, so you'll have to have a good nozzle. My nozzle is leaking a little bit and um, but I managed to keep most of the droplets off of there because the drops will make an indentation into the concrete. Anyway, um, so I'm going to spray this and uh, come back in about an hour and spray it again with a mister. I'll probably do that about three times and then um, I can really soak it. I'll probably wait until tomorrow morning and come out and soak it really good. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down way to keep these dogs off of this. If I let figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down bring you back in the morning and show you uh, how it looks so far. Even if the sky is falling down, even if the sky is falling down. So this is the surface from overnight and it turned out really nice. And I have a mat on there already and to hopefully keep the dogs from going on it but yeah it turned out really nice I can show you under the mat it turned out really nice so Louis please <laughs> they can't help themselves come on Louis they're just puppies come on baby anyway so that's dry pour concrete slab I'll take the forms off tomorrow and uh, it's very solid. You can walk on it. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs>